Hi guys, this is Rosa Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a design team package from JS Hobbies and Crafts. It feels like a long time since I did a video last. I think it's probably been about a week. <laughs> and so yeah, anyway, I've been busy um, at home. We are kind of uh, going through a lot of sorting and cleaning and, you know, just decluttering. And also I've been working a lot on my digital magazine, which is releasing soon. It should have been out today, but I think that I'm going to take a couple extra days just to make sure it is 100% to my liking. I'm doing a lot of edits, so thank you for being patient with me on that. Uh, and so, yeah, so I am here with a new DT package. Now, I had this box sitting in my studio for about, I don't know, maybe four days, and I've been dying to open it. I did pick, just so you can see, the outside of the collection, but I am dying to open this, and I wanted to do it on camera with you so we can both discover this beautiful paper together. This is the Mint High Cozy Evening, and I just can see this image here and this little puppy there, so I am dying to see what's in there. So first, let me go through the other items on my box. So... I was so happy to see this on my box. Every time I get like a new tool, it's to me, it's like Christmas again. <laughs> so this is called the paper crimper and it is to make rosettes. So if you saw my latest tutorial on binder mail, um, you will see how I show you how to make a rosette. And I love making rosettes, but to me it is very time consuming because you're scoring, you're folding each one of these lines. So this, it's going to simplify my life a lot. I love making broad sets for, um, you know, anything really, especially like little banner rosettes and I'll probably be doing one of those and share with you guys soon. So I will have this link below and I'm gonna play with this and probably do a quick demo on how to use it if you guys like me to do that. So that is that and then let's look at this goodie bag over here. Of course, I can see the double-sided tape and I do get a lot of questions uh, on which brand I use and what size. So I use the score tape brand and there's two sizes that I like using. The 3 8 of an inch, which is perfect for every time we score at half an inch to add any flaps or, you know, like foldings. So this is the perfect size for that. And then I also use the quarter inch, which is just good to put all around your binding to glue it, um, to glue your papers down. So it's perfect. And if you worry about glue wrinkling your paper and such, I highly suggest you get this quarter inch and just use this instead of glue. It takes a little bit more time, but then you won't have any of the wrinkle pages as well. Then I also suggest they are glitter glue um, and I know my bottle is kind of um, old right now but if you get the art glitter glue always get the metal tip it is sold separately I believe but um, you can find it all on the website link down below as well so this is really going to control the amount of how much glue you use so you won't wrinkle your pa your pages um, okay so that is an answer to a question by the way I am doing a Q&A video and I'm going to link it on my other channel, so I will um, share that with you soon. I am answering all of your questions that you asked me through my YouTube channel and through my Instagram. So I'm just currently editing that video, and I will have it posted soon. And I'm going to post it on my other vlog channel. So I'll put the link below as well. Okay, so back to this. Look how cute. I love the colors because they're all like natural colors. So let me open this one first. And I love how they always label my bags. Um, so this one is the Clony Flower 7, 8 and Natural. And let me just open this up. Look how delicate and how pretty. Now this collection, I already know, oh my gosh, I'm going to love because it has the beautiful animals and it has that rustic feel that I love working with. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Now this one, I'm going to put it back right there so I don't get it mixed up. And this other one, this is the Clony Scallop and this is 13 16 But just look how pretty. And you buy this by the yard so pretty i love the color it's like that of creamy white um just so pretty and then over here this is the clunny rope again going with the whole 
rustic theme looks so 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 pretty oh, i love it so yeah and then look at this this is something new and exciting and i'm gonna um, try to incorporate this as much as i can on the cover because i just love this rustic little i don't know what to call this little branches and they have this gold coating i don't know if you can see how shiny um they are so i'm super excited about this one um so this is the age is 019 i don't remember the name but i will link it below <laughs> okay and then let's open these up let me just clear my space here a little bit also we've been super busy because i mentioned to you my daughter is doing volleyball and she is in tournament so literally we had had games this whole january on saturdays and sundays <laughs> so like all my weekends are packed like that and and yeah and then the rehear the practices not the rehearsals the practices are like tuesdays and thursdays so my life is just a little bit crazy busy right now and then i'm going on vacation next week so i'm trying to finish all my dt projects ahead of time so i will start with this album probably on you know on, on my way back from or when i'm back from my my mini vacation that i am taking so yeah so okay look how cute i love this dye here what is this called this is a doily border and it's from spellbinders and this is how it will look like after it is cut so pretty for your pockets oh when i see beautiful dyes like that i just know i'm going to incorporate a lot of little pockets but look how pretty you can actually do like cards maybe for mother's Day. oh so so pretty okay we're gonna put this on the side and of course as always we are going to need some cardstock this is the american crafts 80 pound cardstock which became my favorite um, it is strong enough and then also soft enough to bend so i really like working with this cardstock and then chipboard of course for your cover definitely get two pieces but i highly suggest you get the they have a package for like 20 pieces or 25 pieces i think something like that i will have a link below it will really save you a lot of money since we are making a lot of albums <laughs> okay so now let's take a look into that collection i am going to be working with two paper packs and let me put one aside and let's open one. Oh my goodness i so love it oh, up here look how pretty uh mintai it is kind of like a new brand i don't want to say new because i know i worked with some of those papers last year as well but it's definitely coming out stronger this year and they're just so shabby and so dreamy i love it so 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 much so i'm so happy that we are carrying this at the store now okay so look at the cover and on the back i love the fact that you always get all these different cut apart so you can use this to embellish your album or make some beautiful cards <laughs> look how cute is this dog the squirrel the little pumpkins the flowers i think this looks so so shabby chic by the way this paper smells amazing <laughs> okay so this one over here look how pretty oh my gosh do you see all the detail on this page i love the backgrounds like a crackle paint and look at this little bird and i hope my lighting is not too too dark but look how gorgeous the pink flowers and here is the back so pretty okay so then here's the next design i just love this teal color like doors oh gosh so rustic-y again so beautiful and then look at this uh, little collage here of pumpkins and flowers so beautiful like i said here is the bird and now let's look at the back oh, i love this paper i just want wallpaper like this for my kitchen i really do <laughs> And look how pretty oh i love this deer so shabby chic it's like rustic but shabby chic at the same time right love the combination and here is the back oh, i'm so happy i have two because i definitely want to use both sides oh, love it 
and then look at this page here with different flowers love that rose and here is the back and then here's some leaves how perfect is this paper like for like a camping trip maybe or maybe like a nature themed birthday which i probably will have for one of my daughters coming soon <laughs> Also, the beginning of the month is when the birthdays start happening, right? We just celebrated Ariel's birthday. It was also um, got me quite busy there. And so now we have um, Emma and Jess is coming up. Everything is like on the first three months of the, of the year. All the birthdays are happening. And then here it repeats itself. But do let me say here on this page, I don't think I got to show you. Um, when you cut these pages like as cut apart on the back you also get you know they're like double sided it's so perfect because you can do either a little picture here on the back on these frames or use this as a like a journaling area and then on the front you have the beautiful images from the collection i can't get over how cute this doggy is so beautiful so then yes yeah, so then you get two of each so I hope that you guys are excited as I am about this collection. I just can't wait to play with this. I know this album is going to be amazing. Just look at the papers. I'm going to have everything that I show you link on the description box down below. Don't forget to check out the store and I'll see you here real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.